Welcome you guys to Butler Kennel Rockwallers, man. I just wanted to show you guys an update about what was going on. First and foremost, let me just tell you guys right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot tell you guys what your support has meant to me. Everybody who's reached out, everybody who has seen the tornado that damaged um, my property, the dog kennels. Um, I'm just really grateful that no dogs were hurt. Um, I was grateful that we have our dog area that wasn't hurt as well where the puppies and dogs could all go into as well um but really out reality is i'm gonna be honest with you man i cannot tell you guys what it meant to you guys i've never gotten so many phone calls so many text messages so many i get about 100 something calls a day average easy but i mean just not even about the dogs people were just calling about saying hey tony thank you thank you thank you hey man um we want to help you and assist you a lot of you guys <laughs> wanted to start a GoFundMe account and just start sending me some cash apps and stuff. But no, um, any and everybody who's who sent any kind of cash app money or monetary uh, things were sent back. Uh, I sent everybody's one back. If you sent me some money or something like that for assistance on the dog kennels or whatever, um, you did get that back yesterday. So no, it's not about your monetary gifts. I want to tell you guys, thank you very much for it. But most importantly, it's about uh, just you guys tapping that like button, thumbs up button. That touches me more than anything else, I tell you that. So anyway, without further ado, you know yesterday we got hit with it. Um, you know, I told myself, couldn't get down with it, had a positive attitude about it, you know, things happen. You can't, you know, everybody cries about the things that goes bad, but then when things are going good, we just wipe it off like nothing. So I take it all, I take it all in. So good, bad, dirty, clean, whatever. Let you guys see what your boy been working. This is what your boy have seen today. Um, the third is when they tore it all up. Today is the fifth. So technically, tore up on, on the third of night, nighttime, so basically into the fourth. So we have one day, 24 hours later, this is what you see, you guys. Um, my kennels are back up. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? We don't play this, man. We, listen, to everybody that wanted to see it down or wanted, <laughs> sorry. Um, Big shout out to my boy Jesse Jr. Mr. Feed'em Good came out, man. Uh, one of the guys that just said, "Hey, you know what?" Uh, he didn't even see the video post. Gotta get on him about that. His, his his notification didn't hit him, but he was just calling on your boy, checking on me, just seeing what's up. You know, regular day you always do call, see how I was doing. He was like, "What's wrong, man?" I was like, "Ah, working right now." He's like, "Not, which is not nothing normal, you know, abnormal." So he says, "Um, hey, uh, what's going on?" I said, and I sent him a picture of the. Uh, kennels being torn up and once he's seen the kennels he just immediately he didn't even ask me he just said hey i'm on my way coming down there to uh to help you out with the kennels and sure enough two and a half hour drive he came straight down here didn't even he's he's always going to see the kids and all of them but he didn't even stop he went straight here and started working which to me i was a little bit like yo i mean i felt a little bad like he was trying to work harder than me but what he did do was he did run me over on the side by side not once but twice he did crap me in my knee with the panel so i don't know if this is just uh his slight way of paying me back for working them so hard or whatever um i don't know but man we had a good old time and i just wanted to really tell him thank you very much man for all the hard work that he did do um we got it all put up and and all that good stuff there so um i got it all cleaned up back again man um this has really truly been a true, true blessing of seeing it put back together this fast. I mean, honestly, y'all remember last year when the wood tore down here? And I think it took me about a couple of days to build this one back up. But I mean, I'm talking about endless work and two days nonstop and just on top of the roofs, took the whole roofs down, rebuilt the whole wood over. Another thing I didn't want to do, I did not want to destroy um, you guys' uh, signatures, man. You know, um, I really was supposed to take it all the way back off and just replace it. But good thing none of the boards were cracked or anything else like that. So everybody's signatures on the board is still on there, untouched, unmolested. Um, it's all perfect and good condition as well. As you guys can see, uh, we still got all the signatures on here. Um, what we will be doing though is strapping down more of these just to be safe that's why this side was even better this time last time it didn't because of it um 
but no, we, we, we definitely are very grateful that, um, as you can see, everything is good, clear, and done. This should be my last video with this camera. I do have a new camera that's in the box that I gotta undo all that kind of stuff. My phone's gonna be down on Sunday since I'm off on Sunday and I get so many phone calls a day. I will be uploading all my new phone. My phone takes so long because I got so many gigs, man. I almost got like a terabyte of just memory in my phone for these videos that you guys love so much. So, um, I don't know. I wanna, let's go with a ride. Let's see who wants to go for a ride right quick. I haven't even decided to, I wanna go for a side-by-side -side ride. You know what I mean? Let's go for a little side by side. Um, I don't know. Everybody seems to be out a little bit right now. See this here? Look at this mama here, just, just out of it. See what I'm saying? She's just out of it. It's like, yeah, enjoying sun basking in the good old beautiful days. You know what I mean? She's just beautiful. You got Goliath. I'll let these ones out like quick. We got a lot of energy right now. <laughs> so, but, um, you guys, I appreciate all your well wishes, man. Appreciate all you guys just rocking with your boy. You know what I'm saying? Oh! Let's see these jokers. All they want to do is just ride around. So we're going to go to the side-by-side -side right quick. We'll go for a little tour ride right quick. You guys haven't seen that in a while. Um, I will be doing the GoPros. I will be doing a lot sharper videos so you guys can kind of see more clarity um, as well. We do got a lot of good stuff coming for you guys, man. Um, as well, so I'm going to get in this thing. If it gets loud, uh, you might want to mute your phone. Um, but just go for a little tour ride with us, man. If you want to mute your phone, you can mute your phone right now. Um, I don't know how loud it's going to be. Always tell who's daddy's favorite, right? Or who favors daddy the most? Hey, mama, come here. I know. Now we do have water for them in the cage. They will go back and get their water. But she is definitely a runner. I say runner. Now a lot of you guys think because we have big dogs that big dogs can't run. And I'm telling you right now, you get your little small dog that's you know whatever pounds they are, and bring your dogs in. Just having the biggest Rottweiler does not mean anything at all. Have a dog that's healthy with a healthy life. Uh, dogs should get out more than just 
getting in the kennel and walking out the kennel and that's it have a dog exercise healthy 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 is key so without that further ado man hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i just want to tell each and every last one of you guys thank you so much again man for the completion of the kennels and just going on, on a little joy ride with me with the dog so you guys be good treat you the right i'm out